Now, some families have more reasons to smile this Christmas Day. On this special day, some mothers are welcoming their new bundle of joy. Deputy Minister of Home Affairs in Jabal Nzuza is handing over birth certificates to mothers of these Christmas miracles. He joins me now on the line from KwaZulu-Natal, Eshowe. Deputy Minister, Merry Christmas and thank you very much for joining us. So, we understand that you're hard at work today celebrating this day with the new mothers handing over certificates. Just talk to me about this campaign. Yes, it's quite an exciting day for us uh, that we're able to join uh, some of the mothers who are welcoming their children. And the aim of our campaign today is really to encourage mothers to register the birth of their children within a period of 30 days. So today we're able to prove that it's possible for you to give uh, the same day and also be able to register. We're able to display that in a show a hospital in the other parts of Wazulu Natal where we welcomed the uh, eight babies this morning. The first one was actually delivered around two, but uh, by eight uh, and nine, the last one was around 10, we were able to issue them with their birth uh, certificate. Mm -hmm. And now we understand there are additional requirements though for late re registration of birth. Just talk to us about those. Yes, uh, let me just explain that we really encourage mothers to make sure that they register the birth of their children within 30 days. Because if you do not do that, you really hamper the progress of the child in a later stage. We understand that there will be delays because some parents do not go to hospitals with their birth certificates. Others are still working on fathers so that they could all appear. So what that is then after 30 days, the internal control that to kick in. Those internal control mechanisms are as a result of the fraud that we had uh, experienced previously, okay. where a number of foreign, of foreign uh, children will be registered as if they are South African children. So as such, we then need proof of birth, which is something that the parents will find that they have not kept for themselves. And we need additional information. If it is long, we then have to even look for proof that uh, the child is actually the child to be and so on. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a bit stringent, particularly when a child has grown so old that they've now been going to school. We need school records, we need confirmation from traditional leaders in the form of letters or local leaders to say that they know the child. But all of those internal control mechanisms, they kick in because of the fraud that we have experienced in the registration of children. Whereas if the child is registered within 30 days, the records are still fresh we are able to ascertain the bed quite easily. Mm -hmm. Now, pardon me, Deputy Minister, the line is very bad. So if our conversation is a bit out of kilter, uh, please do just indulge me. But hopefully they can hear, it, hear you at home. To the more controver controversial one of the registering of children born within wedlock, uh, and those outside. We know that the Concord declared Section 10 of the Births and Deaths Act unconstitutional, essentially saying that unmarried fathers should not be denied the right to register the birth of their children in their surname without the consent of the mother. Can you just share which stage of the process you are at? Is Parliament ready to amend? Where are we given that they've been given the 24 months of a suspension to prepare themselves? Yes, let me just make it clear that we have always upheld the right of fathers that they can be able to register their children. It will, but when it comes to a father, of course, if you look at the birth record, the birth record will normally reflect the mother, that this is the mother of the child. And then you find that the father is not reflecting. So we will need proof to say that indeed this is the father of the child, which will be obtained through a DNA result. But now the court has said that we must reaffirm the right of fathers. So what we are doing now is to set up an administrative process that will be easy for fathers to register the birth of their own children. So this is the stage in which we are in. We have been looking at the birth and, birth and, 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 and marriages act. If you remember that, we are looking at the marriages act as an omnibus kind of a law. As well as the issue of registration of beds, we are looking at reviewing that so that we can accommodate some of those issues. All right. And then as for the remedy, we understand there's the interim remedy. Does this apply to everybody at this point? Yes. Uh, what we set up applies to all citizens of the country. Mm -hmm.
No, unfortunately, we've lost Mr. Nzuza there. That's Njabul Nzuza, the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs. A very important conversation. Unfortunately, uh, we somehow lost him there. Hopefully, maybe the next team will be able to get him. But I think we got uh, mostly what will take place now. The 